we are going to see how to copy files from on-premise Linux server or Linux machine to issue data lake storage using issue data factory. To achieve this, we do not have anything like the self-hosted integration runtime, which is specific for the Windows. Here we have a self-hosted integration runtime, but it is currently compatible only with the Windows. Even if we want to download and install this, it is it will only give the MSA file, which do not work with the Linux. Now, what if we have a situation? We need to copy the files from the Linux machine or the Linux server to Azure Data Lake Storage. How to copy the files from our on-premise Linux? To simulate the Linux environment, we have a VMware with an operating system of Ubuntu being installed in it. Let's log into that first. Coming to the architecture, we need to install a Samba file share. This gives the compatibility to share the files using the file share. And from there, we are hosting the self-hosted integration runtime to the Windows. And we are copying the files to ADLS using the Azure Data Factory. Let's start with that. First of all, we need to install Samba. For that, let's just uh, update all the packages with this command. To install the Samba, this will install all the packages related to the Samba server. Now we have the Samba server installed. Now we need to start this Samba service. To do that, we need to enable the service daemon of the Samba server. So we need to enter SMBD. The service is enabled. To test if the service is running or not, we need to enter the following command. So we are going to see the status of the Samba daemon. And we can see that currently the service is active and it is running. We are going to create a file share which do have the password. We are going to access the file share from our local machine, which is the Windows. To create the file share, first we need to know what exactly the directory in which we are on. We can see Shanmok as Ubuntu. This is the user of the Linux. First, let's see what is our directory. PW is the present working directory and we can see home and Shanmok is our directory. Let's create a, a folder, which is the directory in which we can store our shares. For that, we need to type mkdir, which is the make directory and the name of the file share, which is the folder. So this will create folders which of name Shanmuk share. The folder is been created. We need to create a Samba user in which we can authenticate to the Samba file share. For that, we need to type sudo Samba password. Let's add the user with the same name. And we need to configure a new password. And we have our uh, file share user been added. Let's set it to Samba uh, configuration file in which we can define the path of our file share. For that, we are going to use the nano editor and we are entering the path of the Samba file share. And we can press the control V to go to the last. Now we need the network name as the same folder name. For that, we can write the same name in the square brackets. Now we need to define actually three things. The first one is the path in which we need to publish that as the file share. Second one with the permissions. And third one is who actually need to have access with that. First, let's enter the path. We are using the same path in which we saw previously, which is the home, the username, and the folder in which we have just created. 
and we are going to check the permissions now read only we don't want the user to have only the read only permissions so we are going to say this as no we need to know who exactly need access to this for that we need to enter the valid users i need the same user to have access for this and also i have a base machine which to have another users with the following name now to save this file press ctrl x and y for yes this will write and save the file now we have the file shared with the following name now to access the file share we need to get the ip address of the current linux machine we can just click on this and we can choose connection information we can see the ip address as 192.168.0.9 now from our base machine let's try to access the file share first we need to see what exactly the ip address of a of a base machine for that let's type the command prompt and ip config this gives the ip address of our base machine and we can see both are in the same network which is the 0.6 and the 0.9 we need to type the ip address of the linux machine this actually gives us the file share and it is prompting for the credentials as this is a password based file share we need to enter the credentials so we are going to enter the same credentials in which we provided in the valid users and the password for that and we do have the file share and the directory in which we created now let's add some files to this so that we can access and send these to azure data lake storage we are going to create sample excel file let's just populate this with few columns and few rows let's save this file as the csv file and we are going to save this file in the same location which we are using as a file share let's name this as test or something and we can choose the file extension which is the csv in which we are currently doing now we are fine with the same delimiter which is the comma same like which we use for csv files we have this file in the file share let's try to access that from the base machine and as soon as we click on the share and we can see the test of csv which is being populated our target is to not to send for the windows we need to send that to adls using the azure data factory for that we need to use the same self-hosted integration runtime which we have for the windows i already have configured the self-hosted integration runtime with the windows machine and I'll also mention the video in the description. First, let's create a link service which will point to the file share in which we have just mapped. For that, we have the file system as a connector. And the integration runtime must be self hosted IR. And we are trying to access this file share from our local machine, which is the Windows and we are accessing the file share from our local machine now we need to copy the address now we are going to give the same credentials in which we have given while adding this file share let's test the connection that was successful and we just created a link of which is which is pointing to the file share in which we created from the linux and now we are going to create a simple pipeline which do have a simple copy activity which copies the files from the file share to adls and for the source we are going to create a new data set 
we need that to be CSV file. And we are going to select the test.csv. We need the first row as a header and we need to import the schema. And coming to the destination, we are using the DDLS as a destination in which we have the new data as a container. And let's create a sample folder here to indicate that it is from Linux. Let's also configure the sync. We just need to choose Azure. Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. And we want that as the CSV file, so we are selecting the format as the delimited text. And we do already have the link service which we which we have configured previously. And we are going to choose the path. New data is the container from Linux is the folder. Now let's just debug this and check. And we can see the pipeline got succeeded. And we can see one file which has been read and it has been written to ADLS. And let's open the folder and see. And we have a test of CSV file in which we created in the on premise Linux. And we can see the contents in that, which would be the same as we copied. Using this, we can copy the files from on premise. Linux server or the Linux machine and we use the self-hosted integration runtime which we have for Windows and we access the file shared through that.